Hello beautiful people, thank you so much for tuning in, watching and listening. This is going to be the April 2024 reading for the zodiac sign of Scorpio. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages that I receive, as well as many of the tarot cards. I do have a recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising, just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you this month. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. I do apologize in advance. I'm not feeling the best, so my voice sounds a little funky today, but hopefully we will get through it nonetheless. So, call number one, we're going to take a look at what's coming for the month of April, so any big messages. Call number two is anything related to money. Call number three is anything related to love. And in our fourth and final column, we're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides, which is like almost advice for the month of April. We'll also do three yes or no questions, a crystal of the month, and a healing note for you. But again, getting started, column number one here, Scorpio, big messages coming for April. We have the summary affirmation card of ready but waiting. This is a pretty literal card. Um, so basically, you're ready to go on something, you're ready to make a move on something, but we're kind of in this waiting or holding period here. Sorry, I just uh, bumped the camera, Scorpio. <laughs> Gave everything a good shake. But let's take a look and see. So you're ready to make a move on something, but I feel like we're kind of in this waiting period. Let's see what messages we've got here, though. First up, we have the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is also a card of patience. It can be a card of waiting. So be as patient as we possibly can. Whatever this is, is I feel like it'll be worth the wait, but we are definitely bothered by the fact that we have to wait, right? Um, I do feel like potentially we're waiting for some new money or job or career or some way financially connected just given the Page of Pentacles and its ties to money. Looking at our next card, we have the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is a card. Um, this is like skill, quality, craftsmanship. This is being really good at what you do. And I feel like we want to like share this gift. We want to share this skill but yeah, we're having to wait. So there is a little bit of frustration, a little bit of sadness around the waiting. Um, but I do think it'll be worth the wait. Um, and as much as possible, just know, remember at the end of the day, this is something you enjoy. This is something you want to share. So this will be something worth sharing. At the bottom there, we have the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is a card. Um, this is like grief. This is a little bit of sadness. Um, again, we're pretty disappointed or upset that I feel like we have to wait. We're really excited about this thing. It's something we really enjoy. So we just want to get with it. We want to share it out. Uh, but now is just not the time. So a little bit of waiting. Try and be as patient as possible. And just really focus on the enjoyment piece of it again. This is something that makes us really happy. This is something we really enjoy. And we're going to have that opportunity. It's just a little bit delayed or postponed at this point. Looking at our clarifiers, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Not at all surprised to see this card. This is patience, waiting, delayed success. Um, so a little bit of wait there. The next card we have is the King of Cups. This is very uh, intentional. This is very much so a leadership card. This is a very powerful card. This is the ability to make bold moves. You're going to make waves. You're going to be really successful. This is a great thing to take the lead on. This is going to give you exactly what you want. So just hang in there. Be patient. This is definitely going to be worth the wait. At the bottom here, we have the Lover's card. The Lover's card is typically a love card, um, but this is also like coming through as a decision card. So I feel like perhaps we had to make a decision and that that's what's driving the delay. Um, but I feel like you made the right decision. You couldn't have decided any other, like there wasn't another option there. So we can be sad about the decision. We can be sad about the wait, but it's like there wasn't a lot of other options. So definitely worth the wait though. Don't get discouraged. This is something you really enjoy. This is something we're sharing. Again, you're going to make big waves with whatever this is we're waiting on. All right. Taking a look at our next column now, anything related to money, we have a quick affirmation for you. It says, I am a money magnet. In this column, we're going to talk about anything related to money, job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments you have, whatever you associate with money here. First up, we have the four, or excuse me, the 10 of pentacles. 
The Ten of Pentacles is a really long-term card. This is like leaving a legacy. So it's very future focused, very big energy. Um, for some of you, this could be a lump sum of money as well, uh, some sort of inheritance. Perhaps some of you are retiring as well. But whatever this is, it's happening insanely fast. Fast, fast, fast is the message here. So I don't know if there's money coming in quickly for some of you, maybe retirement's quickly approaching, or we're just making those legacy type moves really quickly. We have the Knight of Swords, you can see the horse and rider here, moving super fast. Uh, so this is a, a quick change, fast pace coming your way. The next card we have is the Eight of Wands. This is also speed, action, quick change. This could be finding out some sort of news though. So this could be uh, finding out that we need to make these changes quickly. This could be finding out about retirement, inheritance, that lump sum of money. Let's take a look at our clarifiers here. First up we have the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is a card um, this is the doer card and I'm not surprised to see this because again everything else is like saying fast 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 So we're going to have to go really fast here um, Scorpio, so I'm not surprised to see this. So this is taking action. This is being the doer. This is feet in motion feet in movement The next card we have is the ten of swords um, I like this kind of change because I feel like you're kind of sitting in a low spot. We're kind of in limbo We're not super happy we're kind of feeling like we're in a low spot in general. So I love to see this such quick, rapid change away from something that doesn't feel so good for you, Scorpio. And at the bottom here, we have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is a card. Um, this is a communication card. So there's no way around this. I definitely, there is some sort of information coming in. We're finding out some sort of information. So that's uh, good to see as well. All right, moving on to our next column now, anything related to love. So a quick love message here for you, Scorpio. If you could do anything, uh, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. So in this column, we're gonna talk about anything related to love, family, friends, relationship, children, marriage, whatever you associate with love. Uh, first, we have the King of Pentacles. This is interesting. Um, I feel like what we're doing right now is solid, practical, wise, but more importantly, it's a good investment. So I feel like there is a relationship that we're, I don't know why we're questioning it, but I feel like we're questioning a relationship here, Scorpio. But I feel like this is confirmation that this is a good move for you. This is a good person to invest in. This is a good place to invest in. The next card we have is the High Priestess. This is very spiritual, very intuitive. This is about trusting your, your heart, your gut, your intuition, all of the above. Um, and again, I feel like we're questioning this relationship, but I feel like in our heart, we know it's right. We know this is the right place to, to be. At the start, at the bottom here, we have the Star card. This is like renewal. This is hope. Um, so again, I'm not sure what's driving questioning this relationship, but we're kind of going through the process. We're like, okay, this is a good person to be invested in. It feels right in my heart. It feels right in my gut. And then we kind of get this renewal, this hope. So we're almost kind of re-engaging a relationship here, it would seem. Looking at our clarifiers, first up we have the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles we talked about is kind of a patience card. Um... I don't know. I feel like we could have been delaying this. We could have been waiting for this moment. I'm not quite sure where the delay is coming in. This is also like new. So maybe there was somebody new and or like, you know, is what we have right now what we want or is there something better outside? I feel like there is this kind of question of newness. Um, there's kind of like something new and shiny that maybe perhaps led us to this point of questioning if we where we're at is where we should be. The next card we have is the death card. I always like to mention for those that don't know, the death card does not actually mean death, but it is kind of a transformation. It's kind of a change. Um, and in this case, we get to move forward from this point. The death card's all about progressing forward, moving forward, advancing forward. I do think we're going to continue to advance forward with this relationship. At the bottom here, we have the three of cups. 
The Three of Cups is a card of circle of support. So we have a nice support system, but there's a nice support system with this person or this relationship that's in question as well. Um, we also, with the Three of Cups, it's a card of celebration. So again, I feel like we take that as an indicator of like success. I don't think the relationship's ending. We are kind of in this period of reflection for this relationship, but I feel like we are uh, committed and plan to uh, move forward with it here. All right, now let's take a look at our fourth and final column, which is a message from our future self or spirit guides. We have the summary affirmation card of clarity. This is a very literal card here, uh, Scorpio. So I feel like we're just getting clarity. We're getting information on something, which is good. I wonder if that perhaps connects to the thing that we're waiting on. Maybe not. Uh, now that I say that out loud, but definitely getting clarity, getting any missing information that we may need. I feel like in general, we can all always use more clarity. So I like the clarity card when it comes through. Let's take a look here. So first up, we have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is a card with so many different meanings. So this is a very nostalgic card. We could be reflecting back, trying to get clarity, which again, I think we're going to get the clarity. So I don't know that we need to kind of overanalyze, but I feel like you're reflecting, you're trying to figure out what it was. This can also be a card of receiving like a gift and that gift, that six of that sixth cup right there, that's you receiving the clarity, that's you receiving the information. But I feel like right now you're kind of looking for it and it's more so just going to come to you here. The next card we have is the Knight of Pentacles. This is very much nose to the grindstone. This is putting in the hard work so we can reap the benefits. I like this because I feel like with this clarity, you can keep on the path that you were already on, is what I'm hearing, like you could get back to work. And at the bottom here, we have the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is a card of feeling like we're at a low spot. We definitely like need guidance. We need direction right here, right now, Scorpio. But we're going to get that clarity. We're going to get that information. And then you'll know that you can continue forward. You can get back to work on whatever this is that you were working on. Let's take a look at our clarifiers now. So first up, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. So with the case of Ace of Pentacles, this is typically a new job, raise, promotion, some sort of money news. Um, perhaps that's the end goal, like we're working towards more money here. Um, so I do feel like for a lot of you, this connects into money some way, shape, or how. Uh, taking a look at our next card, we have the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is very resourceful. This is a card of using your resources correctly. So this is your time, your money, your energy. I do think that what you're working on again is the right thing and we're gonna get the clarity to know that you can continue to work on this to continue to go down that path. At the bottom we have the Knight of Cups, love to see this. This is typically a love card. It's like Prince or Princess Charming, Knight in Shining Armor, very romantic, very proposal-like. It's like the epitome, it's the perfect. Uh, but take that in terms of the opportunity. So again, I feel like what you're working on is the right thing to be working on. You're going to get that clarity, that direction, that guidance that you feel like you're needing. So you can get back to this really, really promising opportunity. All right. Now at this time, I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. We're going to use our Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video here and think of them. Question number one, we have... Ooh, Question number one, we have the Queen of Hearts, the number 23 card. That's going to be a yes. Question number two, we have the Two of Spades, the number 34 card. That's going to be a yes. And question number three, we have the Three of Hearts, the number one card. Another yes. So all three yeses across the board there for you, Scorpio. Taking a look at our Healing Stones deck now, which is a crystal to keep with you through the month of April. You have Citrine, one of my favorites. This is New Lease on Life, Self-Worth, Joy for Life, Courage to Follow New Paths. Also really, really good for money as well. Last but not least, we're going to pull a card from our Healing Notes, or excuse me, yeah, our Healing Notes deck, if I don't drop them all first. Your Healing Note says, even the darkest night will end and the sun will rise. Thank you so much, uh, Scorpio, for tuning in, watching and listening. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, follow. All of those things help me greatly as I'm trying to grow my channel. 
Also, when you subscribe, you'll be notified when I post new content. I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation, but thank you so much, Scorpio, and I hope you have a wonderful April.